what's up guys welcome back to my channel where i talk about men's fashion and vintage fashion so before starting these videos i wanted to talk about something serious that is happening here about the pandemic in italy is getting worse and as i told you in one of my videos before i will not do videos outside or vlogs or going to the trip for at least another month i think this situation isn't easy i hope you're staying all at home and uh, i hope my content will help you to pass this time as well and to entertain you so guys today we're going to talk about the history of the bomber jackets Bomber jackets were first introduced during World War I to protect pilots from the adverse climate. Then these jackets were also used by the various government agencies, defense and military department. Around 1915, the Royal Flying Corps in Belgium and France produced long and heavy duty flying coats for the pilots. In 1932, the bomber that we recognize today was released by the US Army Air Corps and was called the A2. A2 jackets are so durable that you can still find them today in great conditions. The B15 jacket consisted of a fur collar made of cotton which was later changed to nylon after 1945 because of its water resistance. The first model of the modern bomber is the MA1 that was used by the US military around the end of the 1950s. Made of sage green or blue nylon, another model was orange inside so that it could be worn inside for the alert rescue. Bombers appeared in Europe during the late 1950s and in 1963 and popularized by the European Air Forces. Bomber jackets were originally midnight blue but were changed to sage green after the Korean and Vietnamese wars since it was easier to camouflage. More civilians adopted the bomber jacket after the late 50s. Bomber jackets started their popularity during the mid 1960s to the 1980s. Especially English punks and skinheads started to take over the trend and change the color into burgundy. During the 1980s, thanks to Top Gun, Indiana Jones and The Hunter, the bomber jacket was cemented into popular fashion. It remained popular through the 2000s thanks to streetwear and grunge. So guys, if you want more content on jackets, I did the Windbreakers collection that I will link here or up here. And I did also a Windbreakers history that I will link up here and also here. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will know when I put my next video. And guys, we are almost at 1k. I have just passed 950 subscribers. I am very, very excited and i'm preparing something special as i told you before guys and uh, i will see you very very soon